Before the United States, Lewis Hamilton and Brad Pitt discuss their upcoming phone film. In a brand new film directed by 37-year-old Hamilton, Brad Pitt plays a retired race car driver who resurfaces to mentor a young talent. Apple has acquired the rights to the movie, which reportedly costs US$125,140,000. On Thursday night, Toto Wolff, the head of the Mercedes team, and Stefano Domenicali, the CEO of Formula One, joined Hamilton and Pitt 58. In a private room at Eddie Viz Prime Seafood in downtown Austin, Greg Maffey, the CEO of Liberty Media, the American business that owns Formula One as well as Anthony Hamilton and Linda Hamilton were present Michael Kosinski, the director of the phone film Maverick who previously directed Top Gun sat at the table. Pitt then briefed the grid's other team executives on Friday at the Circuit of the Americas about the movie phone executives are hoping would be as successful as the well-liked Netflix Drive to Survive series. For practice at a circuit he has won five times Hamilton who is serving as a consultant for the film returned to the more comfortable surroundings of his Mercedes cockpit. However, the British driver is out of time if he wants to keep his record of winning at least one race every season he has participated in. Red Bull's Max Verstappen wrapped up the title a fortnight ago in Japan and there are only four races left. With a new front and rear wing and a redesigned floor, Mercedes has brought more modifications to America than any other team, giving Hamilton hope that he has the tools to compete with Verstappen and his all-powerful team. This season Red Bull has won the last seven races. The seven-time world champion is aware that in the past there have been false dawns. As we always do we will attempt everything Hamilton added but I don't want to have high expectations. The renovation required a lot of work as it usually does and I'm incredibly pleased of everyone for their efforts. I'm simply keeping an open mind because in the past we have had expectations that it will yield a tenth or a second and then we struggle to extract it. In the first practice Hamilton came in third 0.5 seconds back of the leaders Carlos Sainz of Ferrari finished first ahead of Verstappen. With the grid testing tires for next year the second session of the day was basically worthless Ferrari completed a practice double, and Charles Leclerc finished the 90 minutes of running at the top of the leaderboard.